Hi there. You join me in Gloucestershire today because we're going to walk Odishu's railway line, which actually started south of this railway station. Now, the railway station I'm currently at is Cheltenham Spa Railway Station, or also known as Cheltenham Spa Lansdowne. This opened by the Birmingham and Gloucester Railway. However, though, the disused railway that I'm going to walk on today just started south of this railway station just down there at Lansdowne Junction because we're going to be walking the Cheltenham and Great Western Union Railway to Cheltenham Spa St. James Station because the Great Western Railway has its own railway station in Cheltenham. So to start this video, we're going to walk to that bridge just down there to have a look where Lansdowne Junction was, or still is actually. So we're now on top of that road bridge. This is the A40 Lansdowne Road. Now the track is just up to this bridge right here, which I'll put the camera over right now. So we're now looking at the Bergen to Gloucester Railways line from Lansdowne Bridge, which is just this line here. That's the Bergen to Gloucester line here. However, though, on this side is a disused track bed, and that is the track bed of the former Cheltenham and Great Western Union Railway. This right here is the original Lansdowne Junction. Now, Lansdowne Junction still exists, but it's only a passive loop now instead of the former junction itself. So, we go back to the railway station now to have a look at the railway line, or the former railway line, from the railway station. So we're now on platform two at Cheltenham Spa railway station to have a look at the former track bed that used to take trains to Cheltenham Spa St James. And you can actually still see, which is on screen now, the former track bed of that line. It came off the junction just at Lansdowne Junction and it actually avoided Cheltenham Spa railway station. So I'm going to show you where that former track bed leads to right now. So I'm now standing on the track bed of the former Cheltenham and Great Western Union Railway or the Great Western Railways line. Uh, can't go past this gate here but that's actually the track bed that takes you towards Lansdowne Junction. Now if I turn the camera this way you can just see that it's just a car park for Cheltenham Spa's railway station. But in the distance that I'll zoom in now and show you there is actually an old railway bridge that's just in the distance there and that's where the track bed to Cheltenham Spa St James or Cheltenham St James went by her. So we're going to head that way now and start the walk towards the disused railway stations. So just right behind me now is that road bridge which the line actually went under this road bridge. So we're actually going to be heading in this direction right now to start walking the disused railway line and head to our first disused station, Cheltenham Spa Malvin Road. So we're now walking along the track beds of the former line to Cheltenham Spa St James Station and it's also known as the Honeyball 9 Cycle Path. Now when the Great West, well the Cheltenham and Great Western Union Railway, sorry, opened this line in 1847, it's actually built to the broad gauge of Brunel's seven foot and a quarter gauge. Now the Birmingham Gloucester May line was actually standard gauge four foot eight and a half. So from Lansdowne Junction towards Gloucester, it was actually mixed gauge. And just right in front of me now, which I'll turn the camera, we're now at our first disused railway station. This is Cheltenham Spa, Malvin Road. So you would have thought there was a railway station here, Cheltenham Spa, Malvin Road station, until I show you a few things. First of all, there's some platform edge stones here, and they are bedded into this wall next to this path. So some of the old station does remain. However though, up here used to be a footbridge that took you down onto the island platform here. It's long since gone but the railings are still here. And a bit further up this way used to be a bay platform just up there so there were shuttle services to Cheltenham Spa St James Station. And along here as well there used to be a station building here as well but that station building has long since gone. So the railway station just used to be down here. I've just roughed the where probably the footbridges that took you down onto the station platforms. Now I'm going to do a quick history about this station because this station opened on the 30th of March 1908 as Cheltenham Malvern Road. Now the reason this station was built is so people didn't have to use Cheltenham St James or Cheltenham Spa St James so they could get a direct service from Cheltenham towards Stratford because the line was actually extended towards Honeybourne later on and onto Stratford-upon-Avon. Half the line 
is actually used by the Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Railway. Now, the station did close in 1970 as an economy measure, but it reopened in 1919. In 1925, it was relayed to Cheltenham Spa, Malvin Road, but the station did close to traffic on the 3rd of January, 1966. So that's Cheltenham Spa, Malvin Road station right there. And the houses that are just here used to be a goods yard and an engine shed here as well. So we're going to move on now to the final station, well, the final two stations, even though it's the same station, Cheltenham Spa, St. James Station. So we're going to leave now and head to that terminus station. So behind me here where all these trees are used to be an engine shed. Now I think the engine shed got locked down, relocated to Cheltenham Spa, Malvin Road, because they had to build the line towards Stratford upon Avon, which is in that direction over there. That goes on to Cheltenham Racecourse, the Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Railway, Honeybourne and on to Stratford upon Avon. However though, Cheltenham Spa St James is actually in that direction over there, because this used to be a junction. When the line first opened 1847, it wasn't a junction until they built the line to Stratford upon Avon. So we're going to head in that direction over there to go to Cheltenham Spa St James Station. So we just walked underneath that road bridge there and I've just found this, railway tracks. I found railway tracks and railway sleepers, they're a bit bent of course but I have found some old railway lines. I think this was part of the line that headed towards Cheltenham St James or Cheltenham Spa St James. So I'm just roughly where Jessup Avenue is and right behind me here is the site of the first Cheltenham station built by the Cheltenham and Great Western Union Railway. Unfortunately now it's a range rose, but the station opened on the 23rd of October 1847 and it closed the passengers on the 9th of September 1894, replaced by the second station, which I'm going to show you right now. This is actually the second site in Cheltenham St. James. Now this station opened on the 9th of September 1894. In 1908 it was relayed to Cheltenham St. James. In 1925 it was relayed to Cheltenham Spa St. James. And the station closed on the 3rd of January 1966. And honestly, there's nothing there, it's just a football field and a block of flats. So I'm now back at Cheltenham Spa Lansdowne Station, which is today's Cheltenham Spa Railway Station. And honestly, that walk from here to Cheltenham St James or Cheltenham Spa St James, it's really been an okay walk to be honest. Not a brilliant route of a disused railway line but has been turned into a cycle path the Honeyball line and honestly it's a bit busy on that route loads of joggers loads of cyclists and loads of people walking that route it is a very popular walkway Cheltenham Spa Malvin Road we did see some interesting finds about railings some old platform edge slabs but at Cheltenham Spa St James there was nothing there it's all been built over by a retros, a football field and a block of flats, which is really disappointing actually. I think the best thing that I saw though before we entered Cheltenham Spa's St. James Station was some old railway lines that were still, I think they were from the original railway but they've just been positioned upwards looking at the skies. But the whole route it's not very long to be honest, it just takes about 20 minutes. That's how short a route it is from Lansdowne Junction to Cheltenham St James Station. But that's only the few stations in Cheltenham because there was actually about six stations in total and there's only one station today. But if you do like, like railway journeys, disused stations, disused railways, anything to do with trades, feel free to give me a subscribe. Feel free to like this video and feel free to comment down below. I have been Simon Trades. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you on another video pretty soon. 
Thanks for watching. Stay safe.